What is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another very quick Ableton Live tutorial. This one's on getting rid of crappy mic hiss. Um, the mic I use to record these video tutorials is, in fact, a crappy mic. I've got it routed into Ableton right now, as you can see, but I've muted the channel so we don't hear my voice echoing itself and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, if I come into the Spectrum Analyzer and drop it on the channel, you can notice there's a steep spike right here, and this is the hiss, or the hum. So, what I want to do to get rid of that is take an EQ8, right over here, drop that on there, come over here to the 4, and if you hover over the Spectrum Analyzer, right over where this line is peaking, we can see over in this corner that it's peaking around 15.7, 15.3. So if I come and click on the 4 over here, which will highlight the 4th quadrant of the EQ8, and I pull the gain down, and I come up here and I swing this over to 15, and then I take the Q and kind of, I don't know, narrow out the band that I'm getting rid of, and then play with the frequency until I get rid of that hum. See? Oh! You can see that it's gone down. It was up here, but now it's come down to here. Um, and you can play around with this until you get it um, as, as good as you can without losing too much. So that's looking a lot better. Um, as you can see, these, these uh, lines in the back that are kind of faded, and that's where it had peaked. So those are your peak lines. So as we can see here it is now and here it was. So I've taken it away a bunch. And let's see if we get a little better. That's yeah, probably about as good as we're gonna get. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty crappy mic, like I said. But anyway, this isn't uh, nothing though. That's a that's a significant amount of hiss that's gone now. And while I'm talking, you can see that the general vocal range is right around here from about, uh, I don't know, 85 hertz to about, you know, 12, 13 kilohertz. So if you really needed to, you could bring this down a little bit more by maybe doing one of these and could get rid of it this way. But uh, it, you're cutting off a lot this way, but it might, it might, it depends on how bad your mic is and the sound you need um, or the sound you're recording. But uh, I usually use this little dipping tool to get rid of that little hiss. So right there, it's really gone down. Look at that. But again, I've, I've lost a bunch of frequency. But anyway, that's a, just a fun way of using the spectrum analyzer to, to kind of hone in on which frequencies are giving you the most problems and then uh, using an EQA to get rid of them. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, we'll see you next time.